<laughs> Today I want to show you something, something that works, stay with me. Uh, if you're not following my videos, follow me on Instagram, on LinkedIn, add me on LinkedIn, and on Facebook. Look at this. A lot of people ask me as a mindset and a business coach, you know, how can I be more successful? How can I have more clients? How can I get my life in order? There are three things that, that are ex extremely, extremely important and you can get anything you want in life with, with those three things. Would you be interested in what that is? If yes, stay with me. Okay, the first thing is, look at this. The first thing is, it's called confidence, okay? It's called confidence. Confidence is number one of anything that you want to do in life. We love to be with confident people. We feel that they know what they're doing. When you have a successful salesperson, it's like attractive. Wow, you know what? He knows what or she knows what she's talking about. When you see a successful man, it is extremely attractive because like, hey, you know, he's a leader. He knows what he's doing. When you see a successful woman, it's like, wow, she's put it all together. You know, she knows her stuff. So this is something that is happening on a subconscious level. We are attracted to confident people. So for you to be more successful in your business or in your private life as well, that works on that area as well, you need to think about how confident you feel about yourself. If not, daily exercise, daily rituals, self-discipline will give you a lot of self-confidence. So look at this. Then... Oh good, my, my marker goes down. Then we have something that I called competence, okay? So here we have competence, okay? Confidence and competence. So what what is competence? So basically, simply said, you need to know your stuff. You really need to know your stuff. So if you are selling pens like this, you need to know every possible thing that you can about this pen, you know, how is it made out? What is inside? What if this broke down? Every possible thing, because that competence puts you as an authority of your field. So of course, if I'm a mindset and a business strategist, I need to know as many things possible about how entrepreneurs think, what are the obstacles, how can they build their business in a shorter and more effective way. So ask yourself today, are you building your competence daily? And how can you build your competence daily? By just taking 30 minutes to reading on the topic, on the area, what is your field of expertise. So let's say that you are a business coach. So every day you take 30 minutes and you read about sales, building businesses, strategies, new things on the market. So 30 minutes of reading builds your competence. And look at this. Last but not least, we have here something called self-discipline. Okay, self-discipline. Let me just repeat. Confidence competence, self-discipline. So what is the self-discipline? There's a thousands and thousands of books, YouTube videos, you know, how to be more self-disciplined. But let's break it down really simply. Very, very simple. Self-discipline is to keep the promise that you say to yourself. So basically, when you say that you're going to do something, just do it. It is so simple. You know, all this to-do list, not to-do list, you already know what you need to do. We all have this alarm and clack in, in, in us, so to say, that says, hey, you know what, I should do this. But most of the people delay, and we're all procrastinators by nature. So keeping you, yourself, when you hear that voice, when you know what you need to do, self-discipline, just do it, five, four, three, two, one, implement. And the good news there is that if you have like a huge project, you have something big that you need to do, like, oh, I, you know, I don't feel like doing it. Break it down in a simple steps. And there's a beautiful saying that says, how do we eat an elephant bit by bit? Of course, we're not eating elephants. We love animals, but <laughs> you know what I mean? You know, so if something is big, ask yourself, what is a small little baby step? What is the one thing that I can do now to make this huge elephant smaller? Is that a call? Is that a putting it on the paper? Is that, uh, you know, sending that email? Is it just making some structure? Is it drawing about something? 
whatever it is, we just make that first step so that you can keep the promise that you have to yourself. And look at this. Why I said this is so important. Basically, when you, when you are aware of that, your confidence, that your self-discipline and your competence are extremely important. Those are the only three ingredients that you need to have in a place to build anything that you want. Of course, behind that comes a, a lot of strategic uh, 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 tools, systems that you need to implement. But this is the core. And bam, then you have this triangle and your success is here. But if you don't connect those dots, if you're just confident and competent, but you're not self-disciplined, nothing will happen. Okay, let's say competent and confident, but no self-discipline. Look, nothing is happening here. But, or if you are, you know, self-disciplined and competent, but you don't feel confident, no one buys from you. Nothing, nothing happens. So make sure that all the lines are in place. Ask yourself today, am I keeping promises that I say to myself that what I'm going to do, that I'm going to do, okay, self-discipline, ask yourself, how can I become more competent in my field? Are you investing at least 30 minutes in reading, listening about your expertise and confidence? Are you boosting your confidence? Are you doing daily rituals? Are you doing some exercises? And you know, one important thing, did you stop? Did you stop being surrounded with the people who are low self-confident people? Move, move. Their energy is influencing you. You need to be with champions. You need to be with high achievers because that's the energy that's going to boost even your self-confidence and total your spirit up. What you do in the privacy of your home, when no one is watching, when no one is watching, remember this. This is a thing number one that will boost your confidence. What you do when no one is watching. So today, a huge lesson. Confidence, competence, and self-discipline. This is how you make it, my friend. Have a great day, and thank you for your support. Bye-bye. <laughs>